Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are gonna start our new project. This is our new album we're making. This is the Hello Pink Autumn from Prima. This is what I'm calling the album. I usually call the album what the paper collection is called. It's just easier that way. And we're gonna be making a large album and this is gonna be the prep video. We're gonna probably do the covers and maybe even install the binding all in this video. So I am going to have a very specific playlist for this album. I will have it linked up here in the corner and down below in the description box. So it'll take you in order step by step as we do them. Um, yeah, a video will be added every time I make a video, so it'll go in order. A lot of times I've noticed on YouTube, there's a thing that pops up every now and then in like the uh, suggested videos. It's like a mix or something. And I don't know what that's about, but that just throws all different kinds of random videos at you from the same creator, and it's just really weird. But that won't help you keep in order all of these videos when we're making a project, like an album. So try not to hit those if you can avoid it. <laughs> because I get so many people say, I can't, I've, I'm lost. Why aren't your videos are in, why aren't they in order? And they are in order. They truly are in order. You just may have hit that one mix thing or something. Or maybe it automatically went on to the next video and it was just a random video. So uh, anyway, so that's why I do the playlist. So you can start at the beginning and work your way through. So the first video is going to be probably the introduction to the templates. Um, I always do that because I want you to, and you can skip that one if you already know what the templates are. Um, I always put that in there because a new person may not know. So what template we're going to be using are the basically amazing foundations. And the, this set of templates has four sizes in it. And we're going to be making the largest, which is the A size album. So we're going to be using the basically amazing foundations in the new pumpkin background design. The, dyn <laughs> the new pumpkin background design. Uh, I will have it linked down below. And then we're also going to be using the Basically Amazing Graceful Decorative Edge add-on in the pumpkin background design. Now, if you don't have the, if you don't want to get the pumpkin background design templates, that's fine. You can use whichever template you have. You, you choose whichever one is your favorite. I just really like the idea of, of coordinating my backgrounds with the paper, paper collections that we're using. So those are the templates that we're using. All of that will be linked down in the description box. I will, as we go, as we're prepping, I'll talk more about the different things uh, that we're also going to be using. Well, we're going to be using the shades of color. I know that for sure. Those are the four colors. Wait, I'm talking to the back of you. <laughs> Those are the four colors that we're going to be using, but it's the new set of shades of color. This is the number two set. The first set just says shades of color. So this one is a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more of a fall, neutral, warm. I don't know, neutral wasn't the right word, but like just a little bit more saturated. So be careful when you print these out. You don't wanna print, uh, you don't wanna print and use all your ink just on a few pages. So be careful that you just print the index sheets out first to see what's gonna go with your project. So that's what I did here. I figured out which colors were gonna match this project the best and I've printed one of each. Okay, so we're gonna be using those and the last thing I know for sure, for sure, we're gonna be using these Photomat Essentials. These are also available in my Etsy shop. These do not have background designs on them and I will have them linked down below. Uh, I keep getting asked a lot of questions about this this little journal here. I may, it's not really a journal, it's a, well it is kind of a journal, it's an ephemera holder, ephemera keeper. I may make this with you guys with the new photo mats and with my new stamp set, obviously, because look at all my little pieces there, just so you can see how I made it, because I keep getting a lot of questions about this. So I might do that with you guys. All right, so usually the first thing I do, I'll, I'll also put time stamps in the description box and I'll also have them in the comment section. I'll pin it the first pin or the first comment will be pinned and it'll be mine and it will be timestamps. So that way you can skip over all the rambling or if you already know what I do with my papers and all of that, whatever, you can skip around if you need to. So this is a 24 sheet paper pack and there's four of each design or four of each page, I guess. So what I do is I go through and I tear two out. So one, whoops. So I'll take one of these 
And then one of these, but, but I'm taking it out for the background, uh, the backside design. So I take two of the same page, I just have it for this one and for this one. Does that make sense? So I then put them in one of these plastic folders here and I bought these I think I got these at Amazon but they have them at scrapbook.com as well I will link all the products as best I can down below as well they I try to use affiliate links so if you guys use those links it does help me um, I do get a small portion at no extra cost to you and it does help me keep my channel going okay so I did do one additional thing off camera so there's that one and that one and there's that one right let's see okay so this page right here I went ahead and fussy cut one whole page out of all of these different little elements it's just easier for me if I've already got it cut out and I don't have to come back and you know fussy cut it every time I was trying to embellish something so I went ahead and cut them all out. So I'm going to put one of them, I'm going to put all of them in one of my crafty companion trays. And um, that way I've got them all ready to go. So I can just easily sift through them and pick out the ones that I need. So, but I'm going to keep these separate from the, from the die cuts that I have. Um, Store-bought die cuts. The Crafty Companion, if you want to learn how to make my workstation, I did have my Crafty Companion book right there. What did I do with it? I don't know. If you want to learn how to make my workstation that's full of trays and different things like that, I will link that playlist up here and down below. Um, very handy thing to have when you're creating a project. Okay, so I think though I'm going to flip this back over because that way I can use that pattern. All right, so I took, you know, two of each page, really, and I'm going to have that. So I like to go through and use one of each design before I go pull out any more. So that's the thought process on that one. And then let's see. So these are chipboard stickers, and I think what I'll do with these is... Um, I'm just going to take them out of their package and just have them in my Crafty Companion so I can flip through them really easily. But I keep all my packages just in case I need to put it back. And I'm not going to open any of the flowers yet. I'm just going to set them aside for now. Because um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using them all is basically the reason for that. So... We are going to try to do the covers today, so maybe I'll open them then. And then the ephemera. So I like to usually try to separate these out, but I did just use one of those crafty companion trays to hold all of those fussy cut bits. Well, let's see what we got here. So, I like to separate words from images. So, I'll take another tray and I'll put these words in here. Can I put anything else? Um, maybe the butterflies and the birds. And leave the pumpkins and the flowers separate oh some little foil abstract looking little foil type stuff <laughs> right so then I'll put all of these in a different one that way I've just got everything separated out and I can look through things quickly some of the die cuts have foil some of them don't And if you guys have been around a while, you know that I will go through and fussy cut out these images better before I use them. I don't know. I just can't. It's just too much white for me. So, okay, let's go ahead and make the cover. We're going to make the covers. I've already cut everything out and prepped everything as best I could. 
but I still wanted to kind of do some of it with you just in case you've never made one with me before. So I did take the page 1A out of the Basically Amazing Foundations. These are printable templates. You don't get a physical book. Printable templates that you print out and then you can laminate your pages and make your own book. And uh, this is what I call my workbook, okay? So what I do is uh, this set of templates comes with a guide set of templates. So it has all of this on there. So you get a full set of plain templates, a full set of the pumpkin background design, if, you, if that's the background you chose, whatever background you chose, and a full set with the uh, guide information on it. So that's the set that I laminate. And then I print out some on cardstock to use as traceable templates if templates <laughs> if um, I don't print directly onto the paper. So in this case, this cover, I took the page 1A, which this is the mat for the cover. So I just, to make it convenient, so when I'm going through using my templates, I just stick that on top of the template that you need to trace. I traced it out onto some chipboard. I am using uh, medium weight chipboard. This is 30 point, I think is what it's called, but you can use whatever you want. Whatever size you have is totally fine, but this is what I use. So I traced it out, then I cut it out. I cut two out, and then on the spine piece, let me stick this back in here. I used, on page five, I used the this this spine here, we're going to do a two-page spine, um, just for sake of time. You could do a four-page if you want to, like what we did with the album of the month. You know how we were doing like the same but different? You could do the same thing. You can make the first two pages with me and then make the next two pages on your own. You know what I mean? So I took this one, traced it onto the chipboard, traced it, cut it out. And the next step is, put this up. is to add the tape. So I cover the entire back with tape. And the reason I do this is because I use, I use <laughs> coffee stained, this is just 20 pound copy weight paper that I've coffee stained. It is 11 by 17. And since it's so thin, I use, I wanna cover the entire piece of chipboard so that the whole surface is attached to this paper. Now, don't worry, I am going to be putting some Tyvek in the areas where the spine's gonna be so that it doesn't break. But I use this to cover the back. You could use your rolls of tape, you could use glue if you wanted to, wet glue, doesn't matter. But I will have there all the adhesives I use linked down below. So I've already put, I've already wrapped this piece, uh, this cover. So I'm going to show you how I wrap this one. And I don't, the dark side I want to put in. So you put your tape on, you burnish it, and then we're going to glue it down. And I'm going to turn mine this way. Actually, let's do it like this. Yeah, that'll be all right. I'm going to line it up on this side, on the long side of this piece of paper. I'm going to put my butt one end right up to that. Oh, I didn't get it on there just perfect, but that's that's totally fine. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to burnish cuz this is going to be covered up anyway, so it's totally fine. I'll probably be using coffee stained paper in the project as well in some of the pages. I usually say that, but I didn't say that this time for whatever reason. Okay, so now I'm gonna wrap it. So I'm gonna grab my one inch tape. This one inch tape is actually cherry on top. So I will link them as well. So I'm gonna go around the outer, outer edges of this and put one inch tape. If you don't have one inch tape, you could use two strips of whatever you have or more, two or more, whatever you wanna use. You don't have to have all the sizes, but uh, this is just faster. Depends on you know how many you make, what you're doing. If you're just making one album a year, you may, you know, you may not need 
all of these all of these tape sizes but I make a lot I make a lot of albums a year so and of course of course I am using my mini rack my tape if my tape adhesive roll mini rack that I made in a video a few times a few videos back I will link that up here and down below um, I've got this still sitting here so because I'm using the different sizes so it just kind of makes sense then you want to burnish that into place so that that mini rack I showed you is basically for larger my larger tapes all my other tapes are in another crafty another crafty companion workspace workstation to the right of me which I show I actually showed a picture of that in a in a video not too long ago all right so now I'm going to trim right up next to that tape trim away these pieces and I have some already I've got a collection going from my other piece This just makes it nice and neat. Some people wouldn't bother with this, wouldn't be so precise and, and that's okay. You do whatever, whoopsie, I even got a little wonky. You do whatever way you like to do it, whatever way you feel comfortable. And then I'm gonna get this tool back out. This is my right angle tool. I will link this Etsy shop down below. She, um, she sent it to me and she, I don't know if she still has these special colors or not but it's got two uses tearing tape and mitering your corners for your to wrap around your covers so it's got a lip right here so you just put it on the corner and and you're good to go so then I like to just kind of prep where it's gonna fold just like that and I'm going to do the top and bottom first. All of this stuff will be linked as well in my Amazon. I have a special Amazon list just for this. <laughs> just for this project. And I do that so that you don't have to wade through a bunch of different products that I use in different projects. So I try to link as much as I can uh, in a special Amazon list that I have linked down below. So then I'm going to grab this tape backing over here and I'm going to tuck my corner just ever so slightly just so it doesn't stick out too much and then and we're going to burnish that really good and then I like to go along the edge just for it to be nice and crisp. So if we hadn't covered the whole thing with adhesive, there would be a lot more bubbles and stuff all over these covers. And now what you're seeing is basically just where the paper is just wrinkled, period, and you can't really get it out unless you iron it, and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay, so we have front and back cover. Good to go. We have the spine piece that I've already covered with tape on one side, and I don't know, I'm not sure, I can't remember why I did that. <laughs> Um, I have a piece of tie back. Let me spell that for you guys because I know that my accent kind of kind of makes it sound weird. It is T Y V E K. That's what I'm using, okay? It is, it's supposed to be, it's not supposed to tear. It's like, you. they use them as mailers. They wrap buildings with it and that kind of stuff. I buy it by the roll, or I bought it by the roll, and I am, I'm going through it. I, did, I didn't think I'd be able to go through it, but I am definitely going through it. So I've got a piece of Tyvek here that is 12 inches by 3 inches. Is it 3 inches? Well, a little shorter, a little shy of 3. It doesn't matter, just as long as it's, it's at least 2 and, two and 3 fourths. So I've got this piece. I've got another piece of coffee stained paper here. 
And I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to wrap the, the spine piece after I got the cover together. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this tape off. This whole thing is completely covered in tape. So I'm going to take the backing off. I say tape. I forget to say backing when I say tape. But anyways, okay. So I'm going to try to center this on here. It's okay if it's not perfect. And we're adding this so that the spine, the, the joints for the album are going to be stronger and more secure. So that's why we're adding the tie back so it can't, so it won't tear. I don't always add it, but um, I've been trying to be better about adding it these days. <laughs> All right, and then I think what we're just going to take these cut. Oh, no, wait. We are going to, I almost forgot. It's been a while since I've made an album, you guys. I'm going to take some quarter of an inch tape. Whoops, that one does not have a straight. I'm gonna take some quarter of an inch tape and I'm gonna go right on the other side of this chipboard onto the tie back piece. And I'm gonna use this as a spacer. And um, I'm also gonna remove the tape backing when we when we wrap everything, you know, when we get everything covered so that it's got a good seal. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Yeah, the last album I did was the album of the month was, what was it? Was it August? Wait a minute. Was it July? It was this one. It's this one. And I will link it up here, the whole playlist, if you want to check it out. I'll link it up here and down below. So this was the last one we made. And when I was done with this video, with this video series, I made a video saying I'm done, I quit. And um, even though I've clarified it already once, I'm gonna clarify it again. Well, even though I clarified it once, I'm gonna clarify it again. That was a weird noise. Um, when I said I'm done and I quit, I'm done with this album. And I've quit album of the month. <laughs> it was just too much. I couldn't. Was it July or August, you guys? I cannot remember. Just wanted to let you guys know that that's what that was about. So if you want to see, this is basically amazing. This is the D size. This is the smallest size. So if you want to check that out, I have that linked. But because we've got tape on here, I'm not going to bother putting tape on here. But I'm going to match up. I'm going to butt this cover right up to that tape edge. And I'm going to try to match up the top and bottom pretty good too. And it doesn't have to be 100% super perfect. So there's no direction yet, so you don't have to worry about any of that. got that. Now I'm going to flip this over again and burnish that onto the cover. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel these back just a little bit. Even the tape that I've got here on the spine, I'm going to peel that back just a little bit so that I can wrap this bottom edge around so I'm just gonna pull it taut right in the middle there and I'm just gonna burnish that in there really good so that is not gonna tear those those joints there are not gonna tear and that I would think that would be where it's you know would be most vulnerable um, yeah. 
So now I think I'm going to add a piece to go all the way around the spine piece to cover all of this. So I think I'm just going, what is this? this let's just cut at, I think this is cut at 12 and a half. Well, it looks like it's almost yeah, a little over 12 and a half. So I'm going to cut a strip, I think. What was I thinking? What was I going to do? So I'm going to mark it here at four inches. I'm going to mark it down here at four inches. Oh, you know what I could do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip it over to the side. I'm going to put tape on. And I'll put two strips of two inch tape. That's what I'll do. So this is scrapbook.com tape. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. <laughs> And that way I only have to trim it one time. I'm just trying to line it up as best I can. I'm not sure if I did a good job. But again, you can also just use glue if you want to. And I'm going to go right up next to it. To my, to my, oh, look, I didn't do a very good job. It was stuck to my mat. I couldn't get it to come off. So we'll just do it like this. It's really hard to handle those big rolls of tape. I am not going to lie. All right, let me burnish. And then I will just trim this down this way. Take the tape backing off. I'm not sure the best way to do this. I think I'll just lay it flat like this. Again, it's not going to matter. You're not going to see it in the finished product. We're just going to try to do the best we can. Yeah, that did good. That did good. <laughs> All right, pull these pieces back again. And I'm going to roll it this time. Roll it up and around like that. And we're just covering all of that Tyvek. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cover some of this paper with the two inch tape. And let's see if I can find one that's not splotchy. And I will do the height of the of the covers roundabouts, and then I will be back. All right, so I've got another piece ready to go, and it's going to fit right here. Let me erase this little. That little mark that I made. So yeah, I'm just going to stick this right here. Do I, did I get off a little bit? I mean, trim that up a little. It may not matter right now, but um, I don't want stuff to get accidentally stuck. I'm just going to trim that raw edge off there. All right, I think I'll start with just half here. So 
so that way I can just kind of gauge it like this and get it on there. So it's a little, it's a little thinner than the four inches now that I cut that piece off, but that's okay. Not going to matter. More than likely, you will not see it at all. So I'm going to burnish that middle piece. Then I'm going to go into that little groove here, the joints. Just going to burnish those together. And burnish that edge. Same over here. Flip it this way, same thing, go in those joints. All right, the covers are now constructed. Good to go. So that's going to be super sturdy because that tie back in there will not rip, which is awesome. Well, I guess we could try doing the binding really quick. So on the binding in the, we're using, we're just going to use the like stack the deck version, which is in the basically amazing foundations and it's page six. So I printed page six with the pumpkin background design onto 80 pound white card stock. And I think we will, we will try to go ahead and get that binding finished. I'm going to trim this out. I'm only going to trim the two bigger pieces out because I have an idea. I don't know if I've ever tried it before, but I'm just going to trim from the top and the bottom. All those extra pieces are if you want it to add on some pages which I've shown that in a video in the beginning of when I released the Basically Amazing. So if you wanted to check that out, it will be in that playlist. Well, there's a, there's a, it's a full playlist of Basically Amazing. There's a lot of, we've made a lot of albums with this set of templates. It is just so versatile. I'm just so excited to be working on an album. I know I, I, I needed a break, I needed a break, but I'm just excited to get back into making an album. I have been making a lot of my essentials and stuff, and those are fun, they're construction projects, you know, like my, my garbage bow, we made this together. I'll put the playlist to the essentials up here and down below. We, uh, my ink station, my square ink station, there's just a lot, my corner chomper. Oh, please don't ring the doorbell my corner chomper stand insert because uh, we are going to be using some corner chompers in here uh, anyway made all of those in the past few videos and had a really good time making those too as well okay i just need these two pieces and i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to use this one but i'm going to keep this one because we might need to mat some of the fins with this so i'm going to hang on to it put it over here in my crafty companion all right, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try out something different this time. I don't think I've ever done it this way before, but I'm not going to score this piece right here, but I am going to score this piece, and this is a We Are Memory Keeper scoreboard, and this is, what is this one? This one, it might be a We Are Stylist, I'm not sure, I can't remember, but all that stuff will be linked in my Amazon. Okay, so then we just want to, whoops, burnish like this and then I'm going to burnish the other way like that but before we put any tape on or anything I'm going to take my ink this is Distress Walnut Stain and I'm going to just hit this edge because you will see it well you most likely you will see it anyway I should have re-inked my, my ink pad But I'm not going to ink that one at all. 
Well, I might ink the top and the bottom. Just so you don't see that white cardstock, the white core. So now I'm going to take some tape. I'm going to grab my half inch. This is this is cherry on top half inch, and I'm just going to put run a half inch strip right in the middle of this one. The cherry on top's half inch, and and a lot of them might be this way. It's slightly smaller than a half inch, so it fits in between those two score marks perfectly. So for this piece though, I'm gonna turn it on the back and I'm gonna put a half inch on each side. I'll try not to shake too much. Half inch on this side. And I'm going to cover the entire back, but I wasn't sure. I'm going to do a one inch now. I wasn't sure how much I was going to need, or what, you know, sizes I was going to need. If you don't have all the sizes, just cover the whole thing in half inch. Use whatever tape you have. Or glue. You could use glue. So I'm going to burnish and burnish so what i'm thinking is and i'm going to do this first before i put, attach this other piece down because if it messes up you know i don't want to um i don't want to have to redo both pieces <laughs> so i'm essentially going to cover this whole section right here so i'm just going to take the sec the center section of tape off And since this is a directional, this pumpkin background design, it's got my, my watercolor pumpkins and it's got some scripty stuff in there. Super cute. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to try to match this up with the spine piece. I'm going to center it top to bottom as best I can. And I'll burnish it. I'm just going to do a little. And then I'm going to try to, before I take the tape off, I'm going to try to work that paper just a little bit so it goes into those grooves really nicely. So it kind of helps that disappear a little bit. Okay, take this tape backing off. There we go. I'm probably pushing way too hard, you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. All right. Then I'm going to take this piece take the tape backing off of that make sure it's the right way up and it should fit right in the center of that you should be able to match it up perfectly oh, see I didn't trim out very good yep you should be able to match it perfectly so now we've got two fins into our album and if you wanted to add more fins that's what these are for like you could add one in the middle you can add one on either side you would just cut down the center line here and then that's the part you would stick down is that little quarter of an inch piece you would stick that down right there and it would give you enough space between the cover and this fin if you wanted to add, you could actually add up to three more pages if you wanted to do that. 
but I do have a video on, I did do that, and I do have a video on it, and if I find it, I will link it specifically up here. Okay, you guys, I think that's probably all. I have the covers um, coming up next. I think that's probably all we're, this is all we're gonna get done. Um, I was gonna try to, oh, hang on just a minute. Now I need to work this cover just a little bit more. I like to flip it inside out and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Because you want it to be very pliable. You know, I don't want, woo, I don't want it, you know, I don't want the cover sticking straight up. So let me flatten these bins back down. <laughs> Forgot all about that. Yeah, so in the next video, we will do the front cover. I think just so you'll have something pretty to look at for the rest of the rest of the series. All right, you guys. Okay, I just wanted to say thank you for joining me today. And do leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Be sure to give me a thumbs up too if you like the video. And don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and make sure you turn that bell notification on so that you get notified when I upload a video. So, all right, that is all I have for you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.